Princess Maxima has been appointed Special Advisor Microfinance to Secretary General Ban Ki-moon of the United Nations. The future Dutch Queen will strive to make financial services available for anybody in the world. Maxima is new to the field. In the years past, she fulfilled several positions aimed at opening the financial sector to the poor. Ik loop in een week met mensen vol met potentieel die echt goede businessmensen kunnen zijn, dat zich zelf echt kunnen redden. We moeten alleen maar die instrument naar hen brengen. Here at the table is Klaas Molenaar, director of Triodos Facet, part of Triodos Bank, an institution that's very active in the field of microcredits. Molenaar is also member of the Council for Microfinance just like Princess Maxima, and in that sense, one might see him as a colleague of the Princess. Mr. Molinar, welcome. Thank you very much. I suppose you're very happy for your colleague council member. Yeah, and we're also very honoured. I think also on behalf of my colleagues uh, in the council, I can say that. How is Maxima as a colleague? Do you like working with her? Yeah, it's uh, very stimulating. Uh, she is a real profession, professional and brings in a lot of experience from other countries uh, uh, to the table and uh, with her uh, ambition, ambitions uh, she also stimulates us uh, to think uh, out of the box. How important is it for a function like advisor to Ban Ki-moon that it will be fulfilled by a highly public figure like a princess? Let's face it, she really attracts the attention. Yeah, um, but she also might uh, be in a position to open doors of institutions that at uh, this moment are still uh, at the sideline and are watching what's going on in the microfinance sector. And I really hope that she will succeed in opening those doors. Microcredits have been around for more than a decade now. How important have they become when it comes to fighting poverty? Um, they have given the poor a feeling of self-esteem and I think they have also empowered uh, the poor. Uh, and by that they feel in a better position to participate in the economy. And please remind us, how does a microcredit work? Um, you might see it as a, a very small loan for a, a small economic activity, but you could also see it as an expression of trust in a person that he or she will do something positive with the money given to him or her. And how are microcredits doing right now in the midst of a financial crisis? Um, worldwide you see in uh, a number of countries uh, some uh, problems arising, uh, particularly in the microfinance institutions. But there are many countries where uh, people are just going on with uh, their work and uh, consider it as the crisis of others. How can Princess Maxima best prevent microfinance being conveniently forgotten? Uh, by continuously uh, putting it on the agenda and uh, cons uh, also discussing it in a very positive and same time critical way by uh, showing the positive sides and at the same time also the limitations, not expecting that everything can be done with microcredit. Thank you very much. You're welcome.